this is going to be a challenge for me. I'm going to Puerto Rico for five days and I am attempting to pack it all in here. I've decided that the secret to pack light is to understand where you're going to, what you're going for, and just pack the essentials. So let's start. In terms of clothing, I'm thinking I'm going to Puerto Rico to just hang out with my parents. It's not the holiday season. I'm not going to see my girlfriends to go to cute restaurants or whatever. So I just have to pack uh, what I am going to need in terms of daytime outfits and nighttime just to hang out with my parents. So I figured this. You know how I told you I love and miss uniforms? You can see that in my wardrobe essentials after 40 this video well i'm kind of packing the same way i'm going to pack basics a good pair of jeans and i'm going to travel in these jeans too so uh i would say get something either uh skinny or with a little flare but not too much so it looks cute with flats and heels talking about shoes i'm taking a pair of sandals because it's gonna be hot out there with a little wedge because I can wear them at night too and during the day and they're super comfortable. These are from Target. And then this pair of sneakers. I love these tennis shoes. They're white so they go with everything and they're not super athletic-y so they don't look like I just wanted to go work out. I'm gonna wear them all the time uh, for the airport and during my trip. They look cute with jean shorts and with jeans. I'm bringing this pair of jean shorts to hang out at the house because I get obviously really warm in Puerto Rico, so I like to have a pair of shorts and this one will look good if I have to go out to run an errand and also I can hang out at home. The secret to versatility is I think in the tops. I'm not taking any dresses because as I told you, I'm not gonna go out to any fancy restaurants or cute places, I'm just gonna be home. So I have blouses that are colorful right? Two of them that go with the shorts or the jeans. But I also have my basics, a white t-shirt, which you'll see in that basics video I told you about. A black one, this one has a little shimmer because in case I want to go out to dinner, I can dress this up too and wear it with jeans. And then a basic black tee. I'm not taking a basic white tee because I don't want to get it dirty. And also very important, the reason I think I can travel like this is because obviously I'm going to my parents' house. They have a washer and dryer, so I'll be able to do some wash there. And oh, one pajama, one cute little pajama and one pair of socks because I have to sleep with socks on. Again, I can do laundry midweek and have some clean clothes. Now, you know that I am an accessories obsessed woman but for this trip, I have to minimize. So I'm gonna bring my basics too. I say you can never go wrong with your gold hoops. I'm wearing them on the airplane too. And then two gold necklaces, right? This one has a little sparkle on it, right? And then this one is just what's really trendy right now. So you have a trendy piece, so you look, uh, you know, like you keep up with the trends and you can layer them too. So if you want to go out fancier, you can wear it with this layered or you can just wear them separately on your, with your day outfits. Okay, I wanted to talk to you about the toiletries because that is where I think the older I get, the more I need. So toiletries are important. This is the moment where you're going to invest in, min in samples. Okay, in sample sizes, small sizes of your deodorant, of your wipes, of your, you know, cleanser. So this is when you save all that stuff they send you with the products you buy, and then you use them during your trip. You know what's really cool? That then it also gives you the opportunity to try new products. Like if Sephora gave you something for your birthday that you haven't tried, you can do it for those five days. No harm done. One mistake I always make is that I would love to bring my travel bags that are so fancy and cute. They take too much space. And they're, this one is hard, so it's not, it doesn't, it's not flexible, so it doesn't really, 
help me maximize my space. The secret, my friends, are the gallon Ziploc bags or whatever bags you use. These are hefty, of course. So these you can throw in there, nothing will leak, and you can fit them anywhere in your suitcase. When it comes to medicines, this is great. I'm actually gonna invest in a circular one because it'll take less space than this. Bring your essentials. Don't waste your space on the Tylenol Advil bottle. You can buy that wherever you go, but your essentials or prescriptions, uh, that's what you should be bringing for sure. And in these, instead of bringing all the bottles. Makeup, yeah. See, I have an issue. Again, essentials. I'm gonna go hang out with my family, but my mom likes to see me with some lipstick on. So this is what I'm bringing. I'm bringing, in terms of eyeshadow, this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick is great because if you put a lot on, it's great for nighttime. If you put a little on, it's great for daytime. I am bringing this because I can use it as my basic contrast eyeshadow, but also as blush and contour if I want to. And again, get some miniature brushes. They're great and you can throw them all in here. I'm, I don't waste time with foundation. I bring my cover up Studio Fix Powder. And if you want more info on this, I have it on my Amazon store. I can put the link uh, below. But also, I have um, Makeup Essentials too in this video, so you can check that out. And mascara, come on. How many times have they given you these samples? Use them. Don't bring this. What's the point? Takes too much space. Two lipsticks, a red one, because you know, I love a red lipstick and you can find out which one's my favorite in this video. And also, I would say an earth tone, because you can go light for the daytime or go a little heavier for the nighttime. Oh, also for hair, I'm gonna wear my hair curly, but if you really, really need that product that you love that makes your hair look perfect, just put it in a little bot travel bottle, invest in these. They're like a buck at Target and of course, your miniature um, toiletries, again, super important. One more thing, I travel always with this backpack, all right? No labels really on them, no design, so I can wear them everywhere. This backpack almost acts like another piece of um, luggage, so I can put my toiletries in here, I put my jewelry in here, I never put it there because of, you know, in the regular suitcase, because if all of a sudden the airline says you've gotta check your suitcase, that's where my important stuff is. So I put all my baggies in here and you know how you have to show your liquids? Pull them out with your Ziploc, give them to TSA, you'll be fine. Don't take this mammoth wallet. You're only going for five days. You don't need your Target and Nordstrom card in Puerto Rico or in Europe because they don't have Target or Nordstrom or wherever you're flying that it's not in the continental US. Bring a little one with your ID that's necessary, your insurance card, all that kind of stuff doesn't take as much space and you can throw it, if you take a little uh, purse to go out at night, you can throw it in here and then this is perfect for that too, for the little purse. All right, time to pack. What are your tips to travel light? Leave them there in the comments and if you haven't subscribed, click cling, and do it. Let's keep it real together. I'm gonna try and pack it in this and see how it goes, but if it takes too much space, then I'm gonna roll my items. I didn't show you my underwear because I don't want any creeps to be seeing my underwear, but I also am bringing maybe four pairs of underwear and one bra because again, I can wash while at my, my parents' house. One important thing, pick what you're gonna wear to travel in and travel in that on your way there and on your way back. That way you already have that there, uh, that outfit picked out and you don't have to worry about it. But also you can wear it during those five days that you're wherever your destination is. I'm gonna wear basic white tee with jeans and then pick something that will keep you warm. 
I know that I'm going to a warm place, but there's always air conditioned places. So you can either do this cute jacket that won't wrinkle or your basic black cardigan that goes with anything. And it's wide enough that if you're on the plane, it can be your blanket too. All packed for four to five days in Puerto Rico. Listen, I wanna be real with you. I made some changes. This top was supposed to be white, but it looked like un chicle, the white t-shirt. And I have to look cute for my mommy. So I switched it to another basic color, even though it's bright. And I can match this with all my you know, bottoms. And then instead of a jacket or a cardigan, I checked the weather in Puerto Rico. It's gonna be super hot. It's warm here in Chicago, so I'm bringing a pashmina. I always travel with this, even in the winter with a jacket, because I can use this as a blanket on the airplane. And uh, I'm really not gonna use a jacket or a cardigan in Puerto Rico when it's almost 90 degrees. So there you have it. Wish me luck. <laughs>